Hi, today I'm having a go at photographing swallows. I was just driving along this country lane about 10 to 9 this morning and as I went past it a swallow flew up. It was collecting mud in this puddle and it's something that used to be a very common sight but certainly in the Midlands now it's a it's a struggle to find swallows picking up mud. Well 10 to 9 was a little bit on the late side but I started to film and photograph it and it's been going quite well but the traffic is building up all the time. This is a quiet country lane, but the volume of traffic on there is high. It's going to... Nice stop. The um, forecast is for a lovely sunny hot day. We're on the coast, so people are going off to the National Trust car parks, of which there's endless ones around here. And... Um, at first I was cursing because the swallows keep coming down, white folk came down, linnets, and the birds kept flying off because every few minutes there's a car going past. Then I realised it's actually an advantage because when the swallows come down and pick up mud, well, you get that picture. After two or three visits, you've got it. What you really want is as they launch into flight. So the bird comes down and I can hear a car coming and just as the car's coming to the right distance, I know that swallow's going to take off because the car's going to disturb it. So I'm hitting the button before it launches into the air. So it's actually made it easier to get that particular picture. It's a good sight. The sun is behind the car and the wind's in the right direction too because the birds are always going to land into the wind, face into the wind while they're collecting the mud, and then they'll take off into the wind. Well, it's just perfect. It's coming from behind me, but also slightly to that side. There's linnets down there at the moment. I should be filming this, really. It always amazes me that birds can build nests. Whether we're talking about a grass nest, the sort of thing that a black cap or a white throat would build, where it's just loose grass interwoven, or long-tailed tits, of course, with their magnificent structures. But even just a bird like a swallow making a nest out of mud, how does it do it? It hasn't got hands and fingers like we have, it just does it with its mouth. It's an incredible feat. All these pictures are taken with the Sony A1 and the 200-600 lens. And the video footage is slowed down just a little bit. It's not half speed, but maybe just reduced by about 30%. Now this is slow motion, this is shot at 120 frames per second and slowed down to around five times slow. Currently I've given up on the two window mounts that I have for putting my tripod head into the window. They're just not working very well and I've gone back to using a bean bag. This is a, a linnet and a goldfinch. Two species that both drink a lot. They readily come down to drink in pools. And now a few stills pictures that I took on that first session. All the shutter speeds are 2500th of a second with the lens wide open. The ISO would be variable somewhere between 1600 up to 6400 and you'll be hard pushed to spot the difference. I can't see it. I can see a difference in the 30 frames per second you get with the Sony A1. When a bird's taking off like this, it's very noticeable, those extra frames. The Olympus camera that I'm still using occasionally gives me 18 frames per second continuous focus. The Sony A1 can be up to 30 frames per second. I probably don't reach 30 frames per second, but I get very close to it. Now remember, I'm able to take these pictures because I hear a car coming and as that car approaches, I'm ready to press the button before the bird launches into flight. It's a pity the Sony A1 doesn't have the same feature as on the Olympus camera, the Pro Capture, where you have the ability to press the button after the action has happened and still capture it. This was my favourite picture of the morning, 
two birds and the fact that one's got its mouth open calling at the other. It's now half past ten, the best of the light's gone anyway in, in the summer, al almost up to the, the longest day now. I normally stop at ten o'clock when the sun's shining because the light's no good. But uh, I might come back here in the morning, but much earlier, now that I know it's here. But the water level is a bit on the low side, so I'll bring a couple of bottles of water with me just to top it up a little bit. But it's supposed to be a very hot day today, so it will dry out more. So here we are on the following day and a much earlier start. Now, if I was at home, I would have a large jerry can, but uh, I've just filled up lots of small bottles I've been able to gather and just top the puddle up a little bit. But I'm too early today. Not so much traffic yet, but the sun is going to be blocked by the car. I've pulled the car back so the sun is able to get through onto that little bit of water. Now, there's two different things I want to do today that I've not done so far. I want to try 8k. In uh, a recent YouTube video I've talked about taking a stills picture off the 4k video and talked about the quality you're getting which is a little bit on the iffy side. What's 8k going to be like? Well I've not shot 8k yet so I'm just doing that at the moment and then the other thing I still haven't tried is the 240 frames per second slow motion which is high definition only. But uh, we're going to try that next. These next two clips are 8K and the first thing I've learned is I need to upgrade my computer to cope with it. I'm getting a very jerky playback. This is a stills image which I've taken off that 8K. It's a very large file as you would expect. 7680 pixels on the longest edge. I can't make my mind up about the quality. I need to take other pictures. The whites certainly aren't handled very well. There's a buzzard just landed on top of the telegraph pole. I don't think he was interested in coming down for a drink. But there's been quite a few other species wanting to come in. There's been starling, I think it was a chiff chaff, and um, common white throat. But they're put off by the car. If I was in a hide and a bit further back, I think they would have come in too. But it's been much slower today than yesterday. But here he comes again. Although I did shoot some 240 frame per second clips, I'm not able to tell which is which. The lack of EXIF data on video makes it difficult to sort things out. I'm going to have to shoot the 240 frames again on another occasion. And just a handful of stills pictures to finish with. Very difficult to do flight shots from the car window. Your body's not really in the right position to swing and follow the birds around. The Sony A1 is absolutely amazing. It's my body that's not up to it. Thanks for watching.